What's up, guys? Robux Talk back with another draft prospect breakdown. Today, we're sticking with that defensive mold, I guess you'll say. We're looking at defensive tackle out of Iowa, Davion Nixon. He's only a two-year player at Iowa. Let's check out his stats. First year, not bad. Five and a half tackles for loss, three sacks. Then explodes onto the scene with 13 and a half tackles for loss, five and a half sacks. Not to mention a touchdown that he went the distance for. So, plus, initially, what do you like out of Davion Nixon, and what can you expect? Yeah, I mean, first things first is like very good get off. I like his ability to, I mean, he's a penetrator. He's a guy that can, you know, win with his hands, as you see here. I, I like just the, you know, overall just balance and technique. And he's very connected with his hands and, and footwork, which is nice to see. Again, nice little shuffle there to your left and then able to stay up and, and make the play. So, yeah, he's a guy that really has come on in 2020 and, um, definitely an interesting prospect to look at. Yeah, and so we've been looking at a lot of defensive tackles. If you, you who follow the show know, I mean, look at the difference between how much, how agile this guy is. A fake one side jumps the other way. Look at the separation he's getting. How Mike likes to talk about his legs working with his arms. Everything's in unison. Getting off the block, getting into the play. I mean, a lot of things you like that can work together. He looks undersized in here. But then he measures up at 313 in his pro day. And then you see hustle like this. These are things that you can't teach. You can't teach heart. And this is something he has already. I'll let you break it down more. Yeah, you you nailed it. I mean, he's got really good motor. Um, he's always going to fight to the whistle. Um, but I just, I like how he's battling the guard here. Again, he's, he's fighting which way to go, whether it be left or right, kind of eyeing the quarterback. And then being able to get off the block and, and, and finish the play as the quarterback decides to run here. So again, you know, just look at the, you know, he's really fighting here. He's trying to find ground against the guard, does a good job of just disengaging and then making the, the throw down. So really, really like it there. And for a guy 300 pounds to be this twitchy back and forth, like constantly, I mean, the guard can't keep up with that. So is he a power game guy? I wouldn't say so. I mean, look how quick he is. He's just more disengaging going laterally. He's not really going upfield. So that's one part of his game. I don't think he has just yet. But look at the hand usage here. I mean, look at him just jump into this gap. Guard can't keep up with that. I mean, hand usage, following through, comes down, ends up with the sack. What do you see? Yeah, like you said, the hand usage is very nice. That's what I like about him. His hands are, are again, connected with his footwork. You watch his hands, see the footwork, see the balance there. He's going to jab his left foot down and then cross over. So it, it's just really fluid. Again, he's a guy, like Mark said, he's not going to win with power. He's going to have to win with his hands at the next level and kind of be that finesse type of, interior you know pass rusher um that really gets after it by making moves like this and really winning with the the quickness and you can see he's his very uh closing speed is pretty good uh, so you can make plays like this again nice bend here at the waist as you're going to see he gets by the guard again good bend there and good attack to the quarterback also the fact he cuts this corner and goes right up field like you mentioned that also really love that he's using the other center right here as leverage to kind of get upfield. I really like that. It's a very heady move using leverage that way. And then now we're talking about bull rushing. I mean, it's not his best in his game, but I mean, he's got a little bit of it. Touch on that. Yeah. Again, it, it, it isn't his best. Like this isn't, you're going to, you're not going to see this a lot, but it's nice that he can show it at times. Um, if he gets a little bit better, um, you know, just a little more bend and, and can use that leverage a little bit more. Again, I like his arm usage here. Again, he's splitting the, the two, uh, guard and uh, center, it looks like, or I guess that's the tackle. But yeah, good job there, and and finding a way to finish the play, causing a fumble. Um, so really good. And then here, he he's also a good uh, teammate. He can open things up for others. So you see there, he goes in on the stunt. He draws three guys to him, you know, and it opens it up for fifty seven there to to make a a nice hustle play. And so he's. Uh, you know, good teammate, but then at times you can see he can get stuck when he's not winning with his quickness or winning with his hand usage. So he's got to find a way to get some type of secondary move in there where he can off combat these, um, you know, these guards that are holding them up here because he's not going to win with power consistently. Yeah, he's looking for a flag because he can't disengage. I mean, I mean, there's one thing to throw your arms up hoping it was a flag and another thing to actually be held. So this is just an area where his game is speed, jumping gaps, getting quickness on the lateral lateral moves. He's trying to bull rush this guy. This guy's not going to really move. Then 
The rest of his teammates come over and help. There's nowhere to run unless it's going to go outside. The play's not outside. So he's just trying to get inside. He just can't. He's standing up. Guard's kind of holding him up there. He wants a flag, but he's not going to get it. I mean, there's not enough to call it like that because you could call a flag on every play. But then there's more just standing up here. Is he playing QB spy because he's looking right at the quarterback there, just not letting him go out to the outside, just being contained? You don't know. You don't know what he's being asked, but just on tape, this is what you see. Sometimes just kind of standing up there, hand battling. What do you see? Yeah, no, I agree with you. I, I, and that's where, like, the consistency on tape, and that's where, you know, the scouts have said, you know, we'd like to see more from him as far as, you know, just being more consistent game to game. And this is sometimes you see that where he's, you know, just getting stuck on the lineman here. You would like to see more of a disengage or more of a, you know, secondary move. But, again, that's something that will come in with time. Uh, here you you like – the disruption that he's able to cause again is just sometimes you like to see a little bit better balance a little bit more fight upward and really rip through that guard instead of just i mean again he's probably trying to knock people out here it looks like you know he's setting something up for 57 um again so that is just showing like you know very unselfish player he's going to be a good teammate in that regard and you see the bucks defense tackles do this where you know they're trying to set something up for others um, and then you'll see the hustle here again, good hustle to the play. Um, and this guy's going to end up throwing interception because of the pressure. So again, really, uh, really good play there. And now where he's really strong is identifying and, and understanding the run game. Um, and again, you can see his quickness works to his advantage because he can, you know, disengage blocks quickly and make plays downhill. Yeah, I really like his ability to gain his balance as well. I mean, he's doing this lateral jump. You see a lot of lateral movement from him. It's not really upfield. It's more east and west. One thing I kind of don't like, but he does shoot gaps very, very well. But the way he gathers himself here, again, using that hand off the butt of the guard over here, gaining his balance, making the play right at the line of scrimmage. We like that. But still, using leverage to get in on the running game. He almost has a knack for knowing where it's going. And right here, he's just going to ride this lineman into the play. I really like that. Talk, touch on it more. Yeah, it's just showing his awareness. And I agree with you. I like to see him maybe go a little bit north, more north and south instead of east and west, because that could hurt you at the next level. Got to kind of, you know, be more direct to the path of the play. But again, when you have awareness like this and you can understand, you know, you can read it before it happens, it helps you out. Again, here, this is really nice. He sees the flow. He continues to play his gap, gets the shoestring tackle. So it, it just shows like he can really be that penetrating style defensive tackle. Um, and this is the reason why he got, you know, 13 and a half tackles for loss because he can do things like this. Also, check this out. I mean, look at 57 here. He's going to drop in. Nixon already knows which way the ball is going. I really like this. Look, literally immediately almost gets a step before the play is even called. Here, he, he's not even reading this. He's like, no, that's a decoy. It's going to go this way. So that's awareness to me. That's heady. That's already knowing what's going to happen. And then he's just beating the guy to the spot. Gets under him, even though he's going down. Like you said, enough hustle to get his leg or his arm in there, shoot screen tackle. Hustle, and then look how happy he is. <laughs> I'd be happy, that happy too. We keep going on, more hustle. What do you see here? Yeah, again, it's just, you know, being effort, you know, making the most of the play that he can do. And again, getting off blocks, he's kind of getting pushed here to the left. But again, he fights it off, gets back into the, in the frame of the play and, you know, makes the attempt on the tackle of the quarterback. So. Again, this is he's he's going to be a fighter for you. I, I really like uh, you know his demeanor and how he plays the game. Yeah, if you're looking for a nose tackle, like a, a zero or a one, I don't think that's him. But I mean, if you're looking for a twitchy guy that can kind of shoot gaps, use quickness, use hand usage, I think you got your guy. But I mean, then again, he shows this. I mean, this is more getting leverage, but one on one power. I don't think he has that. That's not his game. But touch on this a little bit more. Yeah, I agree with that. He's not going to be a zero or one tech. Uh, I, I think his ideal role is like a three tech and a four three, or he could potentially be, you know, that three tech slash five tech and, and a three, four defense if need be. Um, but yeah, he's not really going to win with power. He's got to win with, again, anticipation, using his hands, using that first step and, and really being aggressive on, on the running back or quarterback. I'm complaining, but look at this. I mean, he's got a tackle here, hand in his chest. This guy's grabbing him. Looks like a hold. Still fighting through, fighting, getting arms off of him. Two guys and still making the play. You can't argue with that. I mean, that's that's good execution and everything. And I really love this one. I'll let you break it down more. Then I'll touch on it later. Go ahead. 
Yeah. Yeah. Here again, it just goes back to that awareness. He, he sees that he's not being blocked. Uh, he reads it quickly. I mean, just, he sees the, the tight end coming over. He knows he's just got to shed this guy. He does it perfectly and then hustles down on the, on the running back and, and makes the tackle. So yeah, really like that. It, this is what you're going to see from him more consistently than say the pass rush. Um, but yeah, he's definitely got the tools you want uh, to work with going forward. Yeah, block shedding. You said it best. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Block shedding, amazing. Awareness to know the tight end's coming after him. And then the hustle and effort to get after the running back. Literally all the way to the sideline. What, what don't you like about it? Really nice play. And then just more in the running game. I'll let you touch a little bit more on that. Yeah, here again, he gets a little bit more north and south. I'm just show, This was just showing his ability as a penetrator. Again, he gets into the backfield, again, forcing the running back to go to the outside. It looks like the play was probably designed that way anyway, but it, it just shows that he can win off the snap, and I really like you know, his ability to uh, get that first step on, on guys. Um, and then now you know, here, this is really good, showing his some power there. You know, he, holds up the, he holds up his guy, you know, shifts his balance back to the other way. And that's really nice. Look at the anchoring and then the hand usage to get this guy off of him. He's just going to shed him and throw him, kind of chuck him a little bit. Yeah, and get, then, yeah, get back to the down. running back. That's the mm-hmm. anchoring is literally getting your butt down, setting your feet. This guy's trying to drive through you. Leverage him to throw him off. Gain your balance, push him off, get after the play. I mean, he's got a lot of traits you like. I mean, a lot of them. That's why he's shooting up boards. People are really taking a name to Davion Nixon. And just again, lateral movement. I mean, this is athletic for 300 pounds, 6'3". That's really, really nice. I know he doesn't get blocked, but either way, it's open field tackle against a running back. That's special. Yeah, so like you were saying, like his athletic ability, I mean, he's just just really special. Again, ran a 4'9", 40. Uh, he can, I mean, it just shows like he can really get after it. And I really like that about his game. And I think he's going to be um, someone that, you know, whoever gets him, I think is going to be happy with that pick because he's got a good head on his shoulders and he's willing to put in the work. And he's going to get better. You know, here, this is probably the only negative I really saw. And sometimes this does happen where he tries to shoot, you know, a position and he does get pushed out of the play a little bit. Um, That's going to happen time from, you know, time to time because he is trying to shoot gaps. Um, So that's really only a negative you got to be worried about. But other than that, I think Davion Nixon is uh, is a heck of a prospect. I think he's a guy that, you know, you're looking on day two, you want a defensive tackle that has some upside and some tools. I think he could be a very good player for, you know, whatever team gets him. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. And comment down below, is Davion Nixon that good? What rounds he going? Let us know. Until the next one.